never found one of those. There's something metal inside. Oh. oh she's all taped shut. Oh. Nine cents. All right then. I'm hunting in the woods again here in Montana near my house. I haven't found much, but this is kind of neat. This bullet has some real patina on it for this side of the country. I have no idea how old it is, but it's got to have some age to be to be that white. And it's got two rings on it with a flat base. And we got a UMC smokeless cartridge. It's also got a bit of age to it. Hoping to find some more neat stuff in here. So I'll let you know if I do. Out of that hole there, I just dug up a really interesting coin. It's definitely foreign. And it definitely looks like it's got some age to it. You know what, I'm going to try to clean this up a bit and get a better picture. This could have been from the gold rush days. I'd like to see what it is. I'll get back to you. Alright, I'm still in the woods swinging through this crazy rubbish, but I just plucked up a coin pretty far down there. It had to be a full eight inches. I just tossed it out right there. Whoop, there goes all my stuff. Oh my goodness. That's an Indian. Nice. Here, let me change my hands here. focus. Come on now. There it is, 1896. Fantastic. I knew there had to be some old coins back in here. Boy, it's tough swinging. Boy, that's nice. I think it's going to clean up super nice. It's got a really nice green patina. Yeah, I'm excited to get this one cleaned up. Alrighty then, we'll see you on the next. I just got this Indian home. I had it focusing better here a second ago. Yeah, look at that thing. That has got to be the nicest Indian head painting I've ever found. Look at that, it can read Liberty clearly on the headdress. It is just amazing that had to have been dropped right around 1896 because that's just has stunning detail. You know, the soil back there in the woods apparently is pretty nice to coins. That 1904 barber I found back there, it's also in stunning shape. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Bring it a little closer. No. That's amazing. That's a that's a super sharp Indian. I just saw something interesting fly out of the hole. <laughs> look at that. Cool. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't know if it's got any writing on it, but I will take a look at it later after I get it cleaned up. Yeah, still in the woods, just across my house. Alrighty then. Oh, there's my fat fingers in the screen again. Alrighty, we'll see you on the next. Check this out in the woods here. The camp 
the imagination in 2017. Danger. Keep out. Beware. El Capitan. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I got a little bit more work to do on their fort here, but looks like fun. Alrighty, back to swinging. The channel you're looking at here is B3 Relic Recovery. It's the clad dad. <clears throat> he hunts a lot with his kids. Uh, Diggs is his boy, and Mags is his daughter. He's got a great channel. Give him a look. I'd put a link up, but you know, I have the tech skills of a six year old. I still have yet to figure that out. But he's got a good channel. Give him a look, subscribe, and like. Let's get back to digging. I think I just got a piece of silver. Yeah, it's got to be. Bringing up like silver. Nice. I'm going to clean it out here and I'll get a better look at it and let you see it. Let's see if there's any more down in the hole here. Actually, let's check. Nope, that was the only piece. Nice. Alright, I'll get back to you. Oh. I'm in the grassy area again where I found the gold coin. I'm actually headed down to that beach down there to give that a whirl, but I found a 1941 nickel. I just found a 1941 wheat. Stoked. I haven't found any old coins in here before. It's just a Jefferson. It's a 1941 Jefferson. Yeah, that's an old Jeff. One more year would have been a war nickel. Yeah, I'm hunting along the creek bed here, and when you know it, I guess you gotta find a spoon. Seems like I find one almost every week. Already stainless. This looks like it would have been a pretty nice bottle. Old Mr. Boston. A second here. Once again, having a hard time focusing. <laughs> Check that dude out. That's pretty cool. It's one of the favorite bottle lids I've ever found. I really wish that bottle was in one piece, but it's shattered into a million pieces. Alrighty, see you in the next. Walking along this trail here, literally about, it wasn't even an inch down. Got ourselves a little silver rosy. Bring it up just like a silver dime should. But just, I'm shocked. I think this must have been dropped fairly recently. I think this one was still in circulation because I don't understand how it could be so, so shallow. But nice. Silver dime, I'll take it. Just barely made it, 1963. Alrighty, next. I just dug up this shell. WRA Company, when Chester repeating arms, but it's got a date of 1903 on it. It's interesting. I'm on a new permission. This is lead. I have no idea what this could be. It doesn't look like there's any writing on it, but when I get it home, I'll clean it up a little better and check it out. But that's an oddball. I see in the next hole. Okay, this piece is pretty interesting. I think it might be a bridal rosette. I don't know if you can see the fancy on there. It's got quite a quite a pattern on it. There we go. You can see a little bit there. 
But yeah, that's a lead back, and that uh, piece with the pattern on it is copper that's adhered to the front. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's cool. Alright, just thought I'd show you that. Yeah, I don't think it's silver. No, it's not silver. That's pretty cool. I like it. Bring up it's a penny, but that is not a penny. Alright, we'll see you in the next. Yeah, I'm really surprised there's not more targets in this yard. But I did just get a wheat scent that has chopped the lawnmower, but it's an old one, 1918. Boy, it was down there. It's way down there. All right, see you in the next. There's something I didn't film. I thought it was a broken spoon, but it's not broken. I have no idea what this little silver plating is just falling right off. Yeah, I don't know what this utensil is used for. It's pretty interesting. It must have. Uh, so you use that end right there to pick something else up, maybe? I don't know. If anybody knows what this was used for, I'd appreciate the information. It actually does have something written on it right there, but I can't make it out. Anyhow, just thought I'd show you up there. That silver plate's just falling right off. Alrighty.